This CW multiverse ain't big enough for all of you DC superheroes, so it's time to unleash this season's five-part crossover event that might just end it all. So this is kind of becoming an annual thing, huh? God, I hope not. Too bad, because it totally did. On this spoiler-filled IMD brief, we break down 2019's Arrowverse crossover, Crisis on Infinite Earths, and how Batwoman could play into the chaos. I'm not about to let a man take credit for a woman's work. And you won't have to, Batwoman, but the CW is going to have to make some tweaks to the source material to include you. Beginning December 8th, 2019 on Supergirl, Crisis on Infinite Earths is the fifth annual Arrowverse Arrowverse crossover event. And perhaps the biggest one they'll ever do, considering they'll merge a few classic shows with six current series, including first-timer Black Lightning, and of course Arrow, which has its series finale just two episodes after the event. Should I hug it out? No, no. And I really mean it this time. They may want to get their hugs in soon because both Green Arrow and The Flash perished on the pages of the original Crisis on Infinite Earths. Spanning 12 issues in 1985 and 86, writer Marv Wolfman and penciler George Perez wove an epic tale with hundreds of DC characters that reset history for the company's first 50 years by destroying an integral and confusing element that had often defined the brand the multiverse. How about the very dumbed down version? Mm, sure. Beginning with a 1961 issue of The Flash called Flash of Two Worlds, the DC characters have existed in a multiverse of parallel worlds. Earths 1, 2, X, and Prime, to name a few, where updates or retcons to a superhero's costume or origin story could be explained away as occurring on another Earth in a parallel universe. You're a monster. No. I'm Superman. The multiverse argues he's both. As DC hemorrhaged readers to Marvel throughout the 70s and 80s, Wolfman pitched his crossover saga, Crisis on Infinite Earths, as a way to collapse the convoluted multiverse back into a single timeline to win back fans who couldn't follow which Flash was which. Nice outfit. <laughs> Now, the CW's Arrowverse has been building up to Crisis on Infinite Earths for years, even teasing a huge reveal from the original comic book storyline in the very first episode of The Flash. Ruby Rose, who plays Kate Kane slash Batwoman, is the newest comer to the DC squad, and she was introduced in last year's Elseworlds crossover event when Flash and Green Arrow had to figure out why they'd been Freaky Friday'd into each other's bodies. I was thinking it was more like Quantum Leap. Well, if this were like Quantum Leap, they'd only look like themselves when they see themselves in the mirror. Well, so it depends really on what type of Quantum Leap you are. There was a sequel. Fine, they were Quantum Leaped. Elseworlds also introduced the Monitor, a godlike being with a magic book that rewrites reality. His meddling had to be unwritten in a showdown of Supermen, but he'll be back for the Crisis storyline where his evil counterpart, Anti-Monitor, uses antimatter to destroy parallel Earths. This world will be doomed like all the others. Batwoman does not appear in the original Crisis, as this version of Kate Kane was not created until 2006. The year prior, DC introduced a crossover event sequel called Infinite Crisis, in which Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman must retire their capes, cowl, and bracelets, so then Batwoman, in Bruce Wayne's absence, must become Gotham's new protector. The suit is literal perfection. It will be. When it fits a woman. No snap. Although it was the Flash who vanished in the comic book storyline, Grant Gustin's Barry Allen will finish out season six without much to worry about. Yet, as for Arrow coming to an end just after Crisis, the character played by Stephen Amell may already be doomed. Just one more thing I gotta do. But no matter what, DC and the CW will make it a come one, come all event to be remembered that will rewrite TV history for how a multiverse should come to an end. And for more trending stories from every verse, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief. Holy ravioli!